In this video, I'm going to talk about this plasma TV that I decided to bail out on fixing. I made a previous video of this TV thinking I was about to get it going, and uh, I'm a little frustrated, to be honest with you. I'll tell you what happened. TV came in here, it was dead. I opened it up, checked the power supply voltages. I noticed one of them is a little bit low. So the first thing I suspected was the Y sustain board since it goes out so often. So as I'm looking over the Y sustain board, I'm noticing that the um, top end here has some burnt resistors and a capacitor, a non-electrolytic capacitor. It's 105, what is it, 250 volts, uh, 105K. Uh, anyway, it was shot. So I thought, oh, maybe I got lucky and the buffer boards are okay this time and it's just the Y sustain board. Well, many people recommend replacing both buffer boards. That would be the one that goes up here and the one on this side and the Y sustain board all at the same time. It's probably not bad advice, although I thought I knew better than the average Joe because of the fact that when I bought a new Y sustain board, I quickly noticed that only one of these ICs got hot. In fact, it's good. I unplugged it real quickly after I turned it on because uh, I noticed the the uh, resistor here that blew out on the new Y sustain board was getting hot, and I didn't want to toast another board, <clears throat> although I may have done so anyways. But anyways, um, I was about to solder on this, this new IC here, and to be honest with you, I just changed my mind about wanting to do that. It looked rather challenging, and when I saw the amount of heat required to removing the uh, old one and putting a new one on, it just, I guess you could say I chickened out, all right? Um, anyway, the bottom line is I ordered a new buffer board to go with a Y sustain board. The, the bottom buffer board seemed to be okay because when I disconnected the top buffer board, I did get part of a picture with just the bottom. Now here's what really disappointed me. New buffer board comes in. I put it in. As soon as I turn it on, the bottom buffer board blew. An IC blew on the bottom buffer board. So I'm thinking, okay, what's causing that? Is it because there's something now wrong with my Y sustain board that caused my buffer board to go bad even though it was a replacement because I put a bad buffer board on it. Uh, this is why I, I can appreciate the wisdom now of replacing all the um, all three boards together. I was told this is more uh, necessary more so on the Samsung TVs. By the way this is a Vizio TV even though it's uh, Samsung. I mean uh, let me say it backwards. It's a Samsung TV even though it has a Vizio label on it and I probably should share the uh, model number on this thing here. Maybe I can put it in the annotations later. But anyway, yeah, um, just, you know, $266 in parts so far. And um, I was looking at maybe buying two more buffer boards, but I talked to four other guys in the business, and they gave me the same advice uh, that I sort of came to on my own, that it's time to jump ship and bail. That's right, I'm bailing out. I don't want to fix this one. But... Um, Okay, I could have taken a chance, maybe a couple of hundred more bucks on these buffer boards. Maybe that would have fixed it. Maybe not. Like I said, I'm I'm bailing. But uh, what else could I say? Uh, just a little uh, word of word of advice. A lot of times when you order replacement boards, um, even though it might be for a specific model number, make sure that you're getting a board that that is for the same series that of the TV you have, because there have been some revisions on some of these boards, and. Uh, uh, one friend in the business mentioned to me that most of the time you can tell just by looking the board over and if all the components seem to be exactly the same, it's generally going to be okay. If any of you know otherwise, please inform me and I'll be glad to uh, add a little side notes to this video. But um, let me see, what else can I say here? Um, well, I think sometimes uh, uh, surviving in this business it, it means knowing when to bail out sometimes, and this is a situation where. I'm bailing. Uh, don't like plasma TVs. In fact, the funny thing is I called one of the outfits that rebuilds the, the buffer boards, and they said to me, uh, the guy says to me, I think plasma TVs are garbage. And I'm, I'm inclined to think the same, although I've seen some that have been around for a while. But when you've got that much high voltage going through these small driver ICs here, fluorescent drivers, um, you know, you're asking them to do a lot of work. And why didn't they put heat sinks on them? I mean, look at the nice heat sinks you put on the Y sustain board. Why don't they have them on these driver ICs? It, it always made sense that any time an IC got hot, you'd want to cool it down, and they don't don't have any uh, heat sinks on them. Um, I was talking to a, a gal at a major retailer 
about uh, the return she sees on, on different TVs, and she warned me about certain brands, and I don't know if this is the case with all the brands, but she said that she sees an awful lot of Vizios coming back. She sees Samsung coming back, um, Emerson, and Magnavox. So for what it's worth, if you're shopping for one, I don't know if those are the ideal brands or not. But um, anyway, uh, what, what else was going to add? I hate to hate to stop the video now and upload it to YouTube and then realize later there's something else I should have put on here. Um, well, something about buffer boards. I mentioned how the, the guy that rebuilt... Oh, I know what it was. Okay, I was warned that a lot of times when you have one of these ICs go bad on your buffer board, let's just say you get a rebuilt board from somebody or you do it yourself. What is the chances that the rest of the ICs are going to last all that long if you've had one go bad already? Um, not everybody's going to share my opinion on that, but but I'm thinking, well, I don't know if I want to gamble on that. Anyway, uh, so much for my plasma TV failure here. May as well share it with others, though. Thanks for watching.